how to add CJ dropshipping product to Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video was helpful, then please let me know in the comments. And yeah, let's get started right away. I'm going to show you guys everything step by step. So I over here got CJ dropshipping and Shopify open. Now I've left a link in the description to the CJ dropshipping website. You'll first need to create an account on here. Once you've done that, you want to go back to your Shopify store. And at the top, you want to search for CJ dropshipping. You want to search for CJ and pretty much you want to click on this app. Now, if you cannot find it like this, you want to first go to the app store. Um, but this is the app which we are going to use. So you want to click on install because we first need to install it on here before we can actually, you know, use it correctly. So once again, click on install. Super easy. This is pretty much the same as every other app. And here it says, welcome to CJ. So I have already logged into my account over here. So it will just ask me to authorize my account um, or else uh, you just have to log in right over here. So you have to agree with all of this. Simply click on authorize and now it will load up and it says authorization is success. You will get this pop up from Alex or something. But um, yeah, we have now done all this. So I just closed the other two tabs and now we just have these two again. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to the main page. And this is where we can actually start adding products to Shopify. So if you, you have a bunch of different categories, as you can see. Now, let's say we want to do something with men's clothing. Then we can, for example, go to T-shirts and then or let's say let's just do socks super easy um you will get a lot of socks as you can see and we are just going to choose one which we like so i think this one looks all right i'm going to click on here this will open a new page again now we can see uh, pretty much everything we can see all the pictures the different uh color swatches as well and um you can even see the whole description some even have reviews already, uh, which you can import then as well. Uh, a lot of them don't though, so uh, that's something. But yeah, here you can see the whole description. If you're happy with this and you want to um, add this to your Shopify store, what you want to do is here at the bottom, you can see list and you can see connect. So here it says list uh, to actually add a product to your store. Connect is if, you or if this product already exists in your store, but you just want to connect it correctly. Um, I'm going to click on list because this product isn't in my store already. So I'm going to click on there. Um, this will open up. It should automatically select your store. We have just connected unless you have multiple stores connected. Then you have to select, make sure to select the uh, right one. Here we have to add um, uh, the product type, the vendor, the title, and in what collection it's going to be. And if we can also add tags. So I'm going to fill this in a bit. If you need Shopify, but you're not sure yet, or you're already enjoying Shopify, or you know somebody that needs Shopify, and what you can do is bring your ideas to life for one euro per month. So what you can do is go to the link in the description or the pinned comment under this YouTube video and sign up for a free trial and enjoy your first month for one euro. So grab the deal now before it is gone. And yeah, good luck with your store. So I filled in this in the title isn't really like that good of a title, but I'll just leave it for the sake of this tutorial. Then um, we can go to variant pricing. And here we can actually see that you can actually change the pricing for each color. Uh, but in this case, every color is costs the same. So here we can also see the shipping fee and everything. So before we actually start naming our price, we can actually sometimes you can actually select which warehouse you want to send this from in this case it's the china warehouse but sometimes it can also be the united states warehouse here we can see ship my orders most to united states or you know a different country and here you can also select which shipping method you want to use some actually change the shipping fee a lot so let's say i were to choose post and then as you can see it almost doubles the shipping method um here as you can see this is way too expensive uh but that also sometimes means that it's going to be 
way faster. So you want to choose the correct one. Here you can see the estimated delivery time, eight to four days. Let's say I were to use DHL, it's going to be three to seven days, but the shipping cost is way more expensive. So you want to find one which you uh, think is best. And then here you can um, add your price. So what you can actually do is click on here where it says recommend listing price. It will fill that in correctly for you. It just recommends this. Uh, in this case, it is pretty much double the actual full on drop shipping price. As you can see, because this is the CJ price, shipping fee, service fee. And this is the full on uh, price you have to pay for the product. So this is actually a pretty good price. I think I would like to just change it to something like this i think that looks uh good for at least for the euros um and then images and videos you can choose if you want to add all of the images description you can actually edit it here already if you would like to but if you're happy with all of this you simply want to click on list it now it says listing in progress you may check the listing status on uh, in on listing so that's what I'm going to do. If you click on here, you can actually see the status. So it currently is pending, as you can see. Um, I'm not completely sure how long this takes. It might just depend on how many different sizes and colors there are. But um, I'll just get back to you once this is done. Once it is done, uh, it will turn green with listing succeeded. Now we can go back to our store. I'm just going to refresh it real quick. And then go to products and there we go. We can actually see it right over here. Now, here we can actually still edit every single thing we would like to. Because like I said, for example, this title, which I added before here in um, CJ Dropshipping, isn't actually a really good title. But I can still change it however I would like to over here. And same goes for the product description. Uh, you can see pretty much all of this, like with all of these pictures as well. And in some parts you have, uh, this is kind of like cut off and you have this, these Chinese letters. If you do not like this, for example, you can just delete these as well. Because, I mean, you don't have to have all of these on here because here we have the pictures already too. Here for the product type, we can ch still change that for the vendor category. Uh, we can even change the collection. Uh, we can delete it from the homepage or add it to another collection. Super easy, just like that. Uh, here we have all of the different colors, the sizes we have, and then also the price for each variant or color. We can change that as well. So it's actually really nice that you can just change uh, everything uh, later on as well, right? And this is pretty much how it will look like. So yeah, pretty clean in my opinion. Yeah, this is that full description. So. Maybe if you would like to, you can delete some or all of them. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how to add CJ dropshipping products to Shopify.